Okay, so let's continue working. Next, what I want to do in this plant, I want to create the uh, tentacles, you know, the which going out and kind of try to grab for the uh, elements around so it's going to hold itself to continue growing. So we'll go create those ones. And that is will be actually part geometry segment. Okay, and um, just go tentacles. And you know what, let me change slightly color so I can recognize a bit better. Okay, next I'm going to connect this. And it will create a new child force right here. So let's go first inside um, control for this child and we'll kind of we'll try to um, set up properly um, values. So first off the number, how many we want them. Um, right now I'm going to preset quite a bit of them. So I want a lot of amount 15 and maybe you know plus minus two. The nice things about this, when we want to hide, after we can select and hide so we don't lose in speed. But I just want preview at this point what we're going, to, how they will look. Okay, and next I want to increase the start and end point. I'm going to bring them a little bit higher. So I want this empty area available. The reason is why we're going to curl them. And it would be right here on the lower, we hit ground a lot of it and we lose some of those details. So I want to bring them all up, up, high. So we can see right there. Okay, Um. next, the end as well, notice right here we're on top. I don't want to put them all the way on top. I want to actually add up the twisty right on top. So I'm going to also take this and bring them down. And you can bring actually probably maybe a little bit more down so we have them in this area kind of constraining by setting start and end point. Um, we could modify also on a density for example decrease density on top or bottom but I think they even will look okay for now. Okay placement is fine everything um, what do we need to work it is on orientation so 30 degrees it's look okay but I want to coil them around and uh, let's just set this maybe 135 and uh, plus minus 10. So this you can see it's kind of placed them a little bit more randomly around the areas. Okay, we'll leave it about right. Let's enable on this and that will be okay. And here it properties. I think this is okay except right here, you know what, let me put increase random maybe on an angle as well. Yeah, this will look a little bit better. Okay, I think we're good right now, so let's go ahead and inside the properties itself there we go. And we can go ahead and start kind of working on elements. So segment link because we'll go curl them, I actually want to increase size. So we'll make 15 and I also will add eight. Right now. So you can see some of them quite a bit long, some of them will be quite a bit short. And again, when you create new PC plant, that will change. And it's the best way to check this, you always can go right here to the seed, click on different random seed and you can see how different is will be your plant when you randomize so this way may help you kind of to have a different ways to look on your plant okay let's go back okay we'll have it radius mod inherit the um radio maybe no let me just bring slightly down and of course I want shrink them closer to the end. So I'm just gonna bring not all the way, just a little bit left. And on a cup, I will round up this end. So what this does, it's just this end, just a little bit round up. Um, if you want to see how it does, we always can go back. Let me 
bring this up. You can see right here how it's a little bit rounding up. And so it's not total flat, it's look a little bit nicer. Okay, let's go bring this down back. Okay, I'll click OK. Trapism, actually I want to add to this, so they're kind of hanging down because additional influence will be applied to this and we'll probably go set maybe three for now. Let's set one, randomness. And um, I don't want to apply right on the beginning, I want to apply more to the end because this is stronger and right here when they're going down. So to do this actually, I want to reduce influence of this at the beginning. So right here I reduce up to this poor area and will have an effect just on the ends of this. Here maybe no. Right here. I think that is very good influence. Okay, and next what I want also to do before we apply is go right here and enable um, blending with the parent. We will use a little bit of displacement, not much, but problem is, at least on this version, when you use it blending with parents and displacement, sometimes you may have it artifacts. So, um, but we won't use that much displacement, so we should be okay. I'm going enable, and I'm just overall right here. It's look default, look okay. We can decrease link, just overall you can see slightly, but I think just slightly decrease. Let me pop up upper one, see how it's, yeah, this upper one look better, I think, when it's a little bit higher. And I think, okay, let me look on the lower one. I think this one look okay. I may come back after when we start work on materials and see how that will work well together. Okay, let's go next in influence and in influence, we want to add actually curl to this. So we'll go to um, again, select local base. We'll go select the curl. Okay, in the curl, okay, let me zoom out all the way. We want to actually put it quite a bit. We want 10. We want to set plus minus 3. Notice how they curl a lot of together so we need to enable local coordinates for this to use and we'll use 0 0.5 just apply maybe um, 0 0.5 and 0 0.2 right here so you can see we have a nice curl supply now we can just rework slightly to pull them out I do like this curl but I want them spread out a little bit more so this is will go play with where we want to influence and I want to actually influence closer to the end so we'll kind of take this spread a little bit more out Again, I'm just probably just even straight will be work just fine. Yeah, I think this way look kind of more interesting. Okay, also let me take just and end right here. And preview. Okay. Just reposition, see which one. I think this way will look kind of more interesting. So we'll click OK. And we have nice curls right here on the ends. But here we have a longer effect. So I kind of like this way. It's almost look like a plant going wild. And of course we can come back after and modify, see if we want to 
increase or decrease at this point. So go ahead and save your plant at this stage and we'll continue by adding leaves and maybe create pods. One thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, hide geometry for this plant. So now when we start working, it's one effect our render previews and it's a little bit speed up in this case and we can enable afterwards.